Spread it close and spread it wide. Spread it round the countryside. Spread the love. I'm going to catch you up. We used to live in LA, but now we live in an RV. We went through California, Oregon, and Washington. We've moved with cows and milked some sheep. We've slept outside, we've seen the stars, and now we're in Idaho. We are here, are you excited to see real alpacas? Look at this place. Howdy. Yeah, you want me to back in? All right, sounds good. I don't know how it works, I'm new to this. One thing that they don't tell you when you buy an RV is that the rear view mirror doesn't actually let you see anything out the rear view. And they also don't tell you how hard it is to actually find flat ground when you're not at a regular RV park. What's happening? Well, so the, the place doesn't have a flat pad for us to actually park on. And so I'm trying to figure out, like, if I have one wheel up on this little divot of dirt, if that gives me enough to kind of angle use the levelers to give me myself a little bit more because we don't have a ton of levelers and the levelers that we do have I already broke and then I just don't know how much of an angle <laughs> like it is on an angle. Just level it. The other problem is that I ended up buying two different kinds of levelers because they look the same. And um, so they don't actually line up together. So I, in fact, I remember they were like, do you just want the 10 pack or the four pack? Because four is fine. We're going to be on mostly flat pads. And like as flat as you think everything is, it's never actually flat. Keep going. All right, a little bit more. And one thing they do not tell you about alpacas is that they're kind of like a, like a creepy, like a creepy creature. Like seriously, why are they all staring at me? This place was incredible and they had the most amazing animals. So we could really start checking things off our list. In fact, they had so many animals, we probably should stop making the list. And this over here is where we're going. Yeah, we'll be there. When you guys are good and rested and ready to go on another adventure, we're gonna go all the way back. What's wrong, Dad? For the sake of adventure! Are you an adventurer? <laughs> this was really the first time since before the pandemic that we really had any extra help. And with Shelly there, it didn't mean that Maggie was fully taken care of, which she was. It just meant that each of us could also breathe. Wish 
I would superstar. <gasps> hey, Graydon, if you ever watch this all the way through, you totally are. Maggie's breathing has really made walking difficult for her at times, and she has been holding her head down. I think to maybe just get a sense of where she is in space, which is something we're really trying hard to address uh, in therapy. Maggie, we gotta get you to do some, uh, some core work today. This is how you're gonna walk. If you can show me you're strong, I get it. You're a cheater. Okay. Okay. In therapy, whether it was virtual or in person, is hard because they only really see that snapshot of them in the clinic. And so it's really up to us to work on it all the time to make sure that she can continue to, to progress and, and accomplish all the things that she wants to accomplish. And as incredible as some of these things are that she can do for a girl with, with Rett syndrome, she's, she's holding this bar by herself, it really is a reminder of how different the needs are of both of our kids and how hard it is to maintain that balance. What do you see? A rainbow. Um, but I think that being out and camping and doing all I of these things really it. gave him a lot of hands-on experience that he just wouldn't have gotten if we were still stuck at home. I love the fact that we found this little part of it that there's really no One of the things that we learned about Idaho, which I absolutely love, is that it's beautiful, but nobody from Idaho wants anybody else to know that. Hi, Dad. Hi, I'm gonna hop on your boat. Wait, Wait what? Oh my, oh my, oh my days. Life is wonderful. Life is wonderful. After a couple of days going from alpacas to lake, it was time to move on. We had a wide stretch of Montana that we had yet to hit. And uh, what I thought was a cattle ranch 